In this video, I will discuss the differences between scholarly and popular sources and show you how to access library databases. Since you're required to have at least five scholarly sources for your presentation assignment, it's important to know how to access these sources and what to look for. Here, I will go over some differences between popular and scholarly sources. Starting at the top, you'll see the popular sources include magazines, newspapers, and most dot-com websites. Popular sources are easily accessible online or at grocery stores or newsstands. The articles found in these sources are typically written to appeal to a large audience, are usually brief, and often written by journalists or freelance writers. These sources also have a slick appearance and contain advertising. Rolling Stone Magazine is an example of a popular periodical. For your presentation assignment, it's important to keep in mind that you are not looking for popular articles. What you're looking for is scholarly articles. On the right is an example of a physical scholarly journal, the Journal of Children and Media. So scholarly journals are also referred to as academic, peer-reviewed, or referee journals. These are found in academic libraries, such as the Rio Hondo College Library, or in library databases. Articles in scholarly journals are typically written by and for experts, scholars, and professionals in a particular field, and contain little to no advertising. These articles are also usually pretty long, written in highly technical language, and often contain original research. This means that the authors have conducted some sort of research to prove something new within their field of study. Lastly, scholarly articles typically go through what is called the peer review process, which is when a panel of experts review the article before it is published. For more on how peer review works, along with further information on scholarly versus popular articles, and how to properly read a scholarly research article, please see the other videos and information on our research guide. Okay, so here we are back at the Rio Hondo College Library homepage. I want to quickly show you how to access articles and databases. All you need to do is go to the menu on the left, select Articles and Databases, and it brings you to our Databases page. Now, the center column contains all the databases that the library currently subscribes to. For more information on what a particular database does, click on the I icon and it gives you an explanation there. On the left column is our popular databases, some of our most often used databases. EBSCO and ProQuest are databases that I recommend for this assignment and I will go over that in other videos. And on the right is information on how to access databases from off campus. When you select a database, you will be prompted to enter in your Access Rio username and password. It just wants to verify that you are actually students at Rio Hondo College. So I want to go back to our research guide. I'm just going to go back to the library homepage, select Research Guides, and go down to the research guide for Professor Brutlag's class. And here we are back at our research guide. A couple things I want to point out on the Find Articles page. Uh, on the left are the videos I mentioned previously. Uh, there's a video that explains popular versus scholarly sources in depth. Also, how to read a scholarly article. This is very important on how to recognize a scholarly research article and it goes over the scientific method, which is often used in these articles. And at the bottom is a video that goes over peer review in depth. Here in the center is some of the uh, databases that we recommend uh, for this sociology assignment. On the right here is a direct link to our database page, just right here and a handout on uh, scholarly versus popular. 
Okay, and I'd like to show you the other pages uh, available on this drop-down menu. If you go to Find Articles tab, you'll notice that there's a separate page for Soch Index and EBSCO, one for Psych Articles and ProQuest, and one for Google Scholar. Uh, these pages contain demonstrations on how to use these recommended databases. If you check these sources, you will likely find what you're looking for in terms of resources, so definitely check them out.